We are here at the NBX event in Poland, in Warsaw. We're gonna bring you the Alpha. We got a lot of things to bring you. Come here, let's go. Gandhi will be with his like staff kicking ass and stuff like that. So 50,000 euros limit a month. That's great for my girlfriend when she goes shopping. You buy anything with your crypto, whatever you want. Like if I want to buy popcorn at this event with my crypto. Ice cream. Ice cream. And all the Cardano people, the XR people. Why didn't you say Cardano? Why is... oh. <laughs> it's not what is the NFTs. It's what you do in this market, guys, and what you want to provide for the people. I think I should turn around. <laughs> <laughs> what is shitcoins? Why is it called shitcoins? What do you do? <laughs> So here we are at MBX Warsaw and Wojciech here can actually help you if you lose your password and private key. Is that right, Wojciech? Yes, that's right. I can recover your phones when you forgot your password or what, your wallet is corrupted or cannot open an uh, application. What do you need in order to help them? Well, if you lost your password, I will ask you many questions. What do you remember about this password? The length of the passwords, the characters you used, and many other things uh, that may help to recover it. And then you would charge how much in order to do the service? My fee is uh, 20 or uh, 250% from the recovered funds. But we can, of course, negotiate the appropriate fee. And do you see a lot of people losing their passwords out there? They sh should they be embarrassed? Uh, yes, there, there are many people uh, from all the, all the, the world who forgot their passwords. And uh, I'm here to help. And where do you see Bitcoin going this year? I think it's going to be high. It's going to be high. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. And what is your private key? Uh, no. And you were a gaming developer for Sandbox and also Star Atlas? Yes, I used to work with those companies uh, on those projects. So where do you see the gaming industry going, this bull market in 2024, 2025, and how do you see the continuation? So firstly, I want to just remind that last year was pretty hard for everyone, for gaming companies as well. Now, uh, luckily, we're going out of it, and I see that uh, companies more actively looking for getting investments and looking for partners and I believe it will be better next year for sure and as I see also uh, except of um, having stronger games on uh, blockchain we might have also AI addition in them because as we see probably it's also developing quite fast and integrating in all projects including games so let's say you have crypto to spend you want to spend your crypto but you can't you can't because it's hard you want to buy some coffee but what do you do what do you do in this case? Well, this man right here has a solution. Tell us about yourself and what your project is. What I can recommend you guys is just definitely to find on the App Store or maybe Google Play Market Trusty Plus, Trusty Global Crypto Card, mm -hmm. which is just like a crypto wallet connected to your debit MasterCard. And it allows you to just like spend more than 30 cryptocurrencies directly, just like in online or in store purchases. It's very simple, just like very simple user experience. Like you have any mobile banking on your phone, right? And uh, just like press my Apple Pay here. Yeah, I'm placed, and I have my card. Okay. Can you see the card? You see, you see the card. You see this master card. Is that your private key? Show them your private key. Yeah. This is private key. <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, just like. And you can simply just like pay for anything you need online or in stores. Yeah. So they download the app, there's a light KYC, and then they can just buy just like a normal MasterCard. Exactly, yeah. So let's say you want to invest in property. Let's say you want to invest in real estate, but the capital gains tax is there. Plus you have Tether, you don't want to put it in the bank and exchange it. Well, our friend here can help us today. Please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Lukas and together with my business partner, we are offering opportunity to buy properties in North Cyprus, sunny North Cyprus. And there is an option to use, uh, for example, stable coins. And instead of paying a huge capital gain tax, which we don't like to do, we can just pay a less around 2.5% spread and buy property straight by using Tether. And it's in Cyprus, I'm half Cypriot, so it makes sense. How do you see this market? Do you see this booming up? It's definitely booming up and you can even find the article in Forbes. Uh, the, the Forbes is quite popular magazine and the article was written 2021 about Cyprus and it was number one to invest in sunny island to buy properties. And since that, 
the price rise up. What are your three favorite cryptocurrencies? Obviously Bitcoin. Ob yes! Obviously Ethereum. Yes! And the third one, uh, Tether. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are at MBX Warsaw, and right here we have a fighter. I, I heard you fight, you're fighting? I'm not fighting, but it's I'm a game for fight. fighting game. Uh, it's called Eternus Deathmatch. It's similar to Mortal Kombat and uh, Killer's Instinct. Right now it's an MVP stage, basically. The twist is that the characters are historical, legendary characters, basically like Newton, Gandhi, oh, Cleopatra, wow. Ragnar, you know, so Gandhi will be with his like staff. Uh, kicking ass and stuff like that. Check us on socials and everything. There is cool things going on right now. We are uh, having some free NFTs. If you play the game five times, uh, you know, you'll get an NFT on Chroma's network, one of our blockchain, uh, basically, partners. So yeah, we, <laughs> and we have a few of them. Uh, that's it. Any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> Three favorite cryptocurrencies. Solana, AVAX, Arbitrum. Because you're building games, that's why, of course. Okay, so we are at the MBX with Bruno here, and he's gonna tell you exactly what he does, because it does a lot. It's even beyond me, man. You're doing great. Tell me what you're Okay, up. so nice to meet you, everyone. Thank you so much. So what I do, I'm a, a founder of a community, Chili Banks. I help the ecosystem to be together. I have organized and uh, created the Web2 Wednesday, so it's every Wednesday in different towns, but uh, starting in Lisbon. I have organized and created the Web2 Women Summit, so forgive some equality of the gems. With the Chili Banks, it's an incubator, it's an accelerator, it's an agency event, it's it's your friend, it's your spicy in your spa, in your space. Yeah, I'm here for NBX for the reason it's already the second time I come in Varso. My journey to speaker international is starting in Berlin in 2022 in NBX too. So yeah, it's fucking cool to come in here. So you do a lot of things, I've got a couple of questions for you, but which of everything you just mentioned, what are you most proud of? My community and my team. And where do you see crypto going and where do you see NFTs? First of all, are NFTs dead? Because a lot of people are saying they're dead out there. I don't think so. I think nothing is dead. The moment when you start to make some things, it's already in the, in, in, in the way. The NFTs, it's something the people are starting to think only one way. But NFTs is a lot of different ways. It's use case, it's membership, it's profile picture, it's a meme coin too. So the point is not what is the NFTs, it's what you do in this market, guys, and what you want to provide for the people. You want to provide speculation, fake dreams, or you want to make adoption and real acts and real uh, delivery. That's what I do with my NFTs, what I do with the people, the team, everyone. The rest, sorry, guys. What's the one question you wish people asked you, but they never do? This is one <laughs> I want to tell. And the second is uh, what really people want or need in the ecosystem what I provide, what I need to do or what I want to do with the people and not this bubble of uh, crazy ideas of the people to only have a big FOMO, a big blah, blah, blah. No, I like to have people send this guy to give <laughs> engagement. Do you know what he do? He's from Bucharest. He photo -bombed us. No, I come from Bucharest. He called me, he tell Bruno, you don't have stickers. He make me this sticker. This is Just engagement. Chilling. He awesome. don't ask me nothing. He do. Sometimes you don't need to ask. You need to do. Same uh, Nike to do. Do it. Do it. Just do it. We are here at NBX Warsaw with Alexander, and he's going to tell us about a payment solution that you may be interested in. Alexander, thank you so much for doing this. What exactly do you do? So I would like to describe a bit more about our project. It is Trusty Card. It is a great solution where you hold all your currency. Uh, for example, Bitcoin, USDT, or Ethereum. And you can pay anywhere, for example, from e it might be e-commerce or just uh, buying grocery in any store. And even you can pay for subscription in YouTube channel or Amazon, so you make a good solution. Also, you can send money to your friends by your phone number. Even if you don't install the application, you can send by uh, phone number. And we have incredible limits, 50,000 euro per month and uh, 500 euro per day. This moment we are working on physical 
start and I believe it will be it will be in uh, one or two months. So 50,000 euros limit a month. That's great for my girlfriend when she goes shopping. But fortunately, you don't have the physical card, so she can't take it and go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, okay, but let's be here a bit spoilers that we are working on a sub account. It means you can create additional cards for your girl. And oh no! <laughs> this, uh, we can <laughs> solve this issue <laughs> for you. So it is. It also will be great. And uh, the most important thing can you invite your friends. We have a referral program where you can earn up to 45% on commission by your friends. We have a DeFi expert to tell you what he thinks, what's going on with crypto. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi everybody, I'm Adrian, Adrian DeFi on YouTube, and I'm a little bit a DGEN, but also a financial analysis in the past. So I'm trying to give a very objective view on the whole space, on cryptocurrencies, on the possibilities in DeFi, from airdrop farming to liquidity mining. I'm doing the DGEN stuff, but also trying to be a long-term investor and Happy to help new investors, but also uh, advanced users. Three favorite cryptocurrencies. Ooh, <laughs> that's a tough one. Uh, so right you're gonna get in trouble as well. <laughs> right now, a uh, ton, uh, because uh, Telegram is a huge uh, social media platform and I see uh, great chances for mass adoption, basically. I'm really into DeFi, AI and crypto, so I like uh, decentralized physical infrastructure like uh, IONET. And last but not least, uh, Solana, because I also like meme coins. I like uh, the DGEN stuff a little bit and Solana has a lot of retail adoption, so shouldn't be missed in my opinion. But it's just my take, no yeah. investment advice. <laughs> and, and profits. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all the Cardano people and the XR people, why did you say Cardano? Why is... oh. <laughs> I'm sorry Cardano people, but there's not so much happening on the chain. You have to see the metrics and... Yeah. Imagine this, you're walking in Germany, you're in Germany, and you have cryptocurrency and you get scammed. What do you do? Who do you listen to? Even better, what do you do before you get scammed so you don't get scammed? And right here we have Daniel Scholler from Uptrend. Uptrend YouTube channel. Tell us a little bit about Uptrend. I think I should turn around. <laughs> <laughs> You see everything. Um, I have a channel since January, middle of January 2022, and we make fact-based reports about good projects, but on the other side also we expose scams. And we talk about it and say, hey, not only this is a scam, it makes no sense, it's important to explain it. I work, for example, with a blockchain analyst mm. and we can track the blockchain. Oh, wow. This is okay. nice this is sometimes. Just... And sometimes really interesting, like we are a trading project. Uh, wait, there comes the money and here goes the money. Where was the trading? What? <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, what do you do when somebody wants you to sponsor a scam? How do you handle that? Oh, this is really funny. I had this three weeks ago. Um, we should make an integration for 450 euros, something like that. And I looked at the project, okay, 2% a day, okay, no licenses, okay, please wait, I make it for free. <laughs> <laughs> But it was not good for them. <laughs> you know what? I've done a few projects. There were scams. Yeah. I accepted. I took their money because they, they pay in advance not... and I exposed them. I exposed yeah. them on the YouTube channel. I'm like, you know what? You paid for an honest review. This is it. It looks great, but it's fake names, fake LinkedIn profiles and so on. Next time I should make maybe a competition for the subscribers. That's a good idea. If you have not heard of P100, you're about to hear about this. Let's say you're in Europe. Let's say you want to go shopping. Let's say you want to buy coffee. Let's say you want to take a beautiful girl to a restaurant. You're going to have to spend some money. Maybe you have spent all your money. You need to spend crypto. How do you do that? My friend here is going to explain. Tell us about you and your company. My name is Mathieu. I'm the head of marketing for P100. So what we do, we are a digital money application. It's a, some kind of revolut, but more focused on crypto. So what you can do with uh, the application, you can have an EU IBAN, an EU MasterCard, physical and digital. Inside the application, you have a hot wallet where you can trade, buy, swap, sell your crypto. Your hot wallet is connected to your EU IBAN and MasterCard, which means you can literally buy anything with your crypto wherever you want. Like if I want to buy popcorn at this event with my crypto. Ice cream? Ice cream. Okay. 
restaurant with a beautiful girl, as you said. <laughs> Everything with your crypto. That's the goal of the application. And inside the application, you have to uh, decentralize wallet, like a cold wallet, integrate it. So your crypto are safe. It's like an all-in-one application where it's made for beginners. Like the a process of buying crypto has been simplified to the maximum. Like I asked my mom to try to buy some Bitcoin. She was my white rabbit and she managed in a few minutes. So a lot of you are asking about real world assets. Well, today I'm here with Chris and Hugo. We're going to be talking about a project that's very exciting to you. So tell us about your project. So uh, Hugo and I, we, we started in London uh, on real estate, renting rooms. We always wanted to combine with uh, blockchain and uh, we came up with this idea. We are tokenizing unused nights on Airbnb. What does that mean? We manage a bunch of properties. We have over 120 properties already in Manchester, Liverpool. And uh, a percentage of those nights goes, I mean, our occupancy rate is not 100%. So there's always 20, 30% that, right. that goes to waste. So we are tokenizing that value and giving to our NFT holders. Those nights are going to be wasted. So we just give it for free to our NFT holders. So basically, oh, wow. yeah. So you buy the NFT, it's like a membership. For a traveler's club and uh, you earn free stays in the UK eventually we want to expand worldwide the sweet spot there is that if you don't want to stay on those nights on the properties you can always sell the token or you travel and you stay those nights there or you sell the token for USDC so you're trend stacking Airbnb with timeshare and NFTs that's, that's it yeah, yeah. Yes, perfect yes 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 okay I'm awesome you, yeah you mentioned that yeah, I, I used share. to be in timeshare <laughs> okay so it's an <laughs> NFT based timeshare yeah, ownership, ownership. Yeah. that's how, that's how, that's how we came up with yeah what about the goggles people can actually yeah, that's our USP. So eventually we are still under development. We have a booking platform. So where you can use our token to, to book accommodation. You can actually visualize the property before you booked. Because uh, we've been in the, in the industry for, for many years and one of the complaints that we get the most like, the property does not look like the, the photo. And some, yes, people, get, some yes. people get disappointed. No matter as much as you want to be transparent, it, it doesn't match, match the, the expectations somehow. So with the, with the virtual reality experience, I think it's going to get as close as possible to the real thing. So this is it's actually quite excellent, especially when you see pictures in the RCI catalogs. You can actually <laughs> you can actually see it, how it is actually there. You're walking along shopping and you have some Bitcoin or you want to buy some Bitcoin. So you see the Bitcoin sign. You see the Bitcoin sign. You see it's an ATM, but you see it says shitcoins. What is shitcoins? Why is it called shitcoins? What do you do? <laughs> the shitcoin is compounded from Poland. We have around 280 ATMs in the Europe. So this is machine that you can uh, buy or sell fast crypto. Let's say I see this ATM, I see the Bitcoin logo and I want to buy some Bitcoin or I want to sell some Bitcoin because my girlfriend wants to go shopping. What exactly do you do? How do I work this? Okay, so for the first time, this is really fast. You can just put the money, mm -hmm. scan your wallet, accept on the screen your wallet is okay. It's done. Easy and fast. And why did you name it Shitcoins Club? Shitcoins Club is idea from our boss. He say other crypto than Bitcoin is shit. That's why uh, let's do the name of Shitcoins and it's catchy. I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist, I'm a Shitcoin minimalist. So let's say you're in crypto, let's say you are in Bitcoin, let's say you have your portfolio, everything set up, but you need to know what time it is. Where do you find a watch? We have no watch. Well, you come to this person right here. Yes, you can come to the dream watch and we can bring you any watch you want. The watch of your dream you can buy here. So why is it called dream watch and what do you do exactly? We're selling watches, we're accepting crypto. We can, you can pay in cash, you can pay by wire, it doesn't matter. But uh, we called dream watch because any watch you want and if it is your dream, we can bring it to you. Okay, so let's say I like a submariner. Yes, we've got one. You this do one have is one. a perfect submariner for you. That's a date. I want a no date. Yes, of course. We can bring no date. <laughs> okay. You want any model that we don't have in stock, you can order it and we'll bring it in until 14 days. So basically, I can buy a watch in crypto, you bring it to me, you guarantee it's real in anywhere in the world? Yes, any worldwide delivery. So, and we can bring any watch you want, all, only original product. It can be new. If you want something special or collection model, we can mm. find it for you. And we always give for the watches, which is uh, older than five years, we always give one year guarantee from our shop. Tell us about your project. Tell us why decentralized exchanges, how can they use them and why they're important? 
Yeah, basically, it's not just exchange because we don't allow you to actually exchange crypto. We allow you huh? to trade. It's futures trading and options trading. Yeah, it's trading platform. It's like Binance, Binance futures trading, but uh, decentralized. You don't need KYC. You have uh, same like uh, ability to select leverage, but you also have innovative thin like wire margin that allow you to hedge your futures position. So for up to how much leverage? Uh, up to 150. Okay, so if you want to completely get wrecked or completely get rich in two seconds. Yeah, yeah, but uh, 150 is with, with isolated margin. Ah. Uh, but like our main feature is war margin. The idea there is that your leverage is dynamic. You don't need to select leverage. It will be selected for you based on the risk parameters. So we calculate risk parameters of different positions. This is actually quite excellent. So let's say I get a position, there's no KYC, what's the ticker, what, what do I use? Uh, yeah, basically you have the same markets uh, as on uh, different, uh, like, like as on, on Binance, you can uh, trade long uh, Bitcoin, trade long uh, or short ETH, and you just need USDC, we are using complete, we are purely based on USDC collateral. So uh, the idea of the platform that you deposit USDC from any CCTP supported chain. So basically you can connect Solana wallet, deposit USDC and trade on an Arbitrum. Wow, you okay. Yeah, yeah. So you don't need Arbitrum wallet for your trading basically. So this is actually quite unique. Yeah, yeah. CCTP technology is it's like a circle bridge yeah, mm. for USDC and uh, we don't uh, take any fees on deposits and withdrawal and to trade on platform you just like you don't sign transactions you sign messages so you don't need a wallet on that chain okay so a lot of you are asking is mining bitcoin still worth it do miners work today we're talking to christoph from i'm sorry only best miners <laughs> and we're gonna be talking about is it worth mining bitcoin right now of course, the steel mining is very, very profitable because we are going with the technology. This is more important. We are providing the miners in Poland here and in Europe. We are the distributor of the call of producer, the ASIC. Of course, we have the, our collocation, the hosting place where the client can put the miners. And of course, we have the service here local in Europe, in Poland service of this whole ASIC. Okay, so let's have a look at the miners here. Can you tell us about these miners? How much they cost and how much can someone expect as a return of investment? So this is the normal ASIC. This is the ASIC L7. This is digging the Litecoin and Dogecoin. This is uh, for the costing, not uh, using uh, home. How about this one? This one and this one. This is awesome ASIC because this one, like you see, and this one, it's no noise, it's very low uh, power consumption, we can use at home. These are uh, mining uh, Cadena. Nice. This, this, this is awesome miner, this is the Jazz miner. This is the best miner for the Ethereum Classic. Very, very good chip, very, very fast, very, very low consumption. And this one? And this one, this is for Bitcoin, this is the, not a miner, this is the Watts miner from the MicroBT, very popular Bitcoin miner, most popular Bitcoin miner in Russia, in the United States. Not breakable, very, very hard machine. Let me try. Okay. <laughs> One of the most known exchanges that's coming up, that's taking market share, is actually BitGet. We're going to be talking about BitGet and we're going to be talking about what's going on with crypto exchanges, with regulations, and any other questions we may have. So, tell us about BitGet, tell us about you, Ergo. BitGet is a top four now exchange in the world regarding to futures trading and top ten regarding into spot trading. We now entering the Polish market because we are growing, our staff are growing, we have more than 2,000 people, around 2,000 people now. And uh, we have a good, really good copy trading system. It's, we created it for the first time in 2018. And so we are pretty good in this. And soon we will have a cool trading battle, our great event. So invite all of you who, be who are interested in trading. And uh, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, and yes. <laughs> so where do you see crypto exchanges going? What's something unique you're bringing to the crypto sphere? Just to understand, every crypto exchange has a similar uh, platform, right? And uh, every exchange needs to attract more and more new users. So we created, first of all, it's, uh, we attracted Messi as ambassador for mass adoption. This is the first thing. Second thing, we 
started to creating our copy trading system uh, because, for example, for newcomers who are not familiar with crypto, for example, it will be better to follow some cool traders and make and trade work with them. Do you see new retail people coming into crypto? Uh, yes, it's thanks for Mimi tokens because it's a really, really on hype right now. Everybody talking about this and uh, we are trying to list as more we can meme tokens because it attract a lot of users yeah. and of course a lot of newcomers so more users are coming from the from meme tokens. So you want to get into Web3, you want to get into DeFi but it's overwhelming, it's crazy, there's so much to learn. You're looking on the internet, you're getting confused, you're going to crypto channels, you watch the crypto factor but you want to learn more. This is where do doers can help us out. Hi Paul, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. Nice to meet you. So tell us what you do exactly and what you can do for our audience. Sure. So we have a community called Web3 Doers. It's a community for Web3 entrepreneurs, builders, founders, tech people, but also community, like, community is also part of like service providers, freelancers, people who are providing services, also content creators, educators, investors, so many different stakeholders. We connect people inside our ecosystem to bring value through education, through providing different resources, and yeah, just having lots of fun as well. What's your favorite sort of narrative? Would it be Metaverse? Would it be DeFi? Ha, that's a great question. To be frankly honest, I'm super excited about where we can go with Web3 through marketing possibilities. So I love, for example, utilizing NFTs to build communities, right? So that's a great strategy to do so. I love, for example, ways of utilizing marketing in the Metaverse as well. AI is like a great way to automate things with, with, with marketing. So I'm a marketer as well, right? So professionally, I'm a marketer. So I love just building communities and provide value to people and educate them how to grow themselves through utilizing different aspects of marketing. So this guy right here just stole my shine. He stole my shine. This is my shine right here. What are you doing? You want to fight? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> just kidding, man. How are you doing, bro? How are you doing? Uh, we are in Greece, we're the Crypto Factor, we just have a YouTube channel, we're eating fortune cookies. You need to try your future about your crypto channel. Yeah, let's see, let's, let's see. Let's you, you too though, you too, okay. grab one. This is Cashify, okay. by the way. She's from Cashify, she's embarrassed. Our, our, about our future of our channel. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's see the man who sleeps on the floor shall never fall out of bed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally randomly, you get a good airdrop. I get a good airdrop? Yes, totally randomly. I so, get a, from so, Crypto Pirates. So I think, yes, so I think in in a YouTube uh, society, I can speak like, you talk with me randomly, so you, your, your crypto channel will pump. Okay, so let's do this, okay? So now we're both gonna pump or get married, depending on which country you're from. <laughs> I don't know what this means in your country, but from, yeah. From Polonia. From? From Polonia. So what does this mean in Poland? Like you're drinking. Okay, yes. perfect. Good. Okay, like that. Okay, good. Because I got scared for a second. <laughs> so tell me about crypto pirates. Oh, we are a community in Poland, a community of you know crypto degens, uh, because uh, we are not a community for beginners, beginners cryptocurrency uh, users like you know in Diablo 2 hardcore player mode. Awesome. <laughs> so you know in a, in a, in a Polish structure, we are quite popular. We try to do a lot of uh, tradings, you know, finding nice. coins, do something uh, special for our community, and we are here. So perfect, so check it out. Where can, what's the website? We don't have website, we don't have Instagram, we don't have uh, Twitter. You need to know about, about us. Ah, so how can they know about you? You know about, uh, about me now. Ah, okay. What about our viewers though? What if they want to find you? You just describe to my telegram. Okay, which is? Do you want to give it or do you not want to give it? I don't want to. You don't want to give it? Yes. Okay, you're not allowed to go here because you're not good enough. All right, so now I'm going to try my luck. Yeah. So what are we going to do? We're going to go over here? Yeah. All right, maybe, maybe we can find this telegram group. Okay. Okay. So let's... Um, just move with this. I just and move when this. you're we'll be ready, click here. You've got 30 seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds, okay, this count. One, two, just kidding. Okay, Move with me, do it with me. Okay. Go. One, two, three. Go. <laughs> this time. Again, again, okay. Oh. So 
So if you are following the crypto factor, you know our views on Casper. We got into Casper early and a lot of you are asking what's going to happen with Casper? Where is Casper going? So I found Casper for you. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much, pleasure. So tell us a little bit about Casper. Why do people in Casper need to hold what's coming to Casper? But also, why should people get into Casper? Of course, not as in financial advice, but what's so unique about it? It's essentially the best uh, layer one. I mean, you could write a list, a desiderata of all of the properties you want a layer one to have. And Casper, I think, is the only layer one in the world that actually has them. It's Proof of work, it gives you all of the security of proof of work. It's decentralized like proof of work, but it's as fast and as performant as proof of stake. So it just, it's the all enchilada. It gives you everything you could have ever wished for from a decentralized network. I don't think any other network in the world can have, can check these on so many de desired properties as Casper. I wanted to elaborate more on the things to come. Mm -hmm. So not, not financial advice, just for your viewers. Uh, so the Rust rewrite, the node rewrite has just uh, launched. It's basically a complete rewrite of, of the node. The original node was written in, in Golang. At the time, we didn't know if it's gonna work. It's been hard because Casper is such new tech, it's been hard for developers to build with it. Uh, all the concepts are new, it's block DAG, the confirmation, calculating confirmations is hard. Integrating has been hard and with the Rust node, it should be easier. It's also, the code is, Packaged into one executable, uh, it's more secure. You can't execute arbitrary code. It's basically a, a piece of a piece of art, I, I think. Yeah, the, and the, the code base is extremely impressive. It's, uh, I think, one of the more impressive co code bases in, in the in the space. Remarkable job. So, if you want to learn about crypto, if you are into crypto, the best source you can actually use is Coin Telegraph. They know their stuff. Mikola, I think, yes. I just go by Nick. You just go by Nick. Yes. Okay, just just Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Pleased to meet you, man. With your experience, where do you see crypto going? Where do you see the crypto industry moving into? The main goal is to onboard as many users as possible with different tools. For example, Ton, the open network, doing great job with its uh, Notcoin uh, initiatives because huge community on Telegram and just tough to get crypto. Basically, you got the Not Notcoin, congrats, you're in crypto now. We need more tools like that on the market. Here's a difficult one for you. What's the one question you wish people asked you, but they very rarely do? How do I buy BTC? <laughs> and what's the best way you suggest to buy Bitcoin? On the preferred crypto exchange, I'm not affiliated with any of them, but you know, just store it on the cold wallet 100%. Okay. Do you have a favorite cold wallet or one that Cointelegraph works with? Well, I do have one, but unfortunately, they haven't reached out for me to, to me for advertisement yet. So I will, I will hold it for now. Okay. Okay. So, what are your private keys? Just okay. kidding. <laughs> okay. it, it's it's banana tree apartment <laughs> dog apple <laughs> watch coin telegraph or read coin telegraph subscribe to crypto factor okay alvin tell us about your project tell us exactly what you're doing here and tell us about the basketball game after this absolutely first and foremost Paul, oh, it's nice to meet you. My name is Alvin and I'm with Ari10. Basically, we are an on-ramp, off-ramp, as well as exchange provider. What that means is we basically provide services that make it easy for people to buy crypto. If you're new to crypto, we make it really easy. You can buy crypto using your debit card, your Apple Pay, Google Pay, NeoServe, iDeal. If you're in Poland, Blick. So we make it really, really easy. What are your, your three cryptocurrencies that most people buy? It's definitely going to be USDC, stable coins, as well as our RE10 token, native token. And I think it's definitely going to be a lot of Ethereum that changes hands through our website. Come show us, tell us about this game over here. Absolutely. So today we had a basketball shootout game and uh, the winner would win a basketball jersey, firstly, that says hodler because we're promoting people to buy crypto. The second thing they were gonna win is a hoodie, some of our merch, and the prize money was 100 USDT. Yeah, nice. 
So we are here at the NDX event in Warsaw, in Poland, talking about crypto, and Tom here is the actual organizer, the CEO, the founder, whatever you want to say about NDX. Thank you so much for doing this, man. Thanks for having me. That's an amazing event this day, yesterday as well. Really good turnout, really good energy. I feel like you are passionate about it too. Yeah, it was one of the best events I ever went to. You actually rented a cinema, a whole cinema. That's, yeah, that's our trademark. We always do it this way so that people feel comfortable here. They have amazing experience, unexpected experience, and that's what creates the wow effect. I saw kids crying because they couldn't see their favorite cartoon. <laughs> I saw people wanting to see their favorite movie they couldn't get in. But you're doing a lot for cryptocurrency. You are, because this is one of the best ways to onboard people in crypto. Because I saw a lot of people, not just in crypto and companies, but people getting wanting to know more, wanting to learn, wanting to discover. Yeah, the, the thing is, we try to be very inclusive with the content. So we do have obviously content for builders and OGs, right? But as much as that, we do have content to onboard new people to learn like basics about Bitcoin and you know cryptocurrencies and everything. So we are, I think, like a good place to start with. So for some people here that I met, they told me, hey, I'm like, I don't know much about crypto, but my journey starts now, today. So what's the one question you wish people asked you in interviews, but they very rarely do? Oh my goodness, I'm having hard times to think of it, but I would say, um, what were the stories that made me feel best? I think that would mm. be the, the question, because they, they always ask me the question like, hey Tom, uh, like, you know, how many people are here? It's like, you know, are you satisfied? Yes, I am, but you know, just, there are some types of feedbacks. If someone approaches me and says like, hey Tom, thank you so much because I just raised my first check for my startup and I'm so happy. So these are the emotions like, you know, it's not about whether we make profit or not from the conference. It's, it's all about like people having the opportunity to reach their goals, right? And that's what satisfies us a lot. All right, that was crazy. That was insane. I hope you got the alpha. Make sure you subscribe down below, hit that like button, whatever else these YouTubers say, and I'll see you in the next video.